Perhaps there is no more important dynamic in sports than that of a franchise quarterback and an offensive coordinator. Marino, Shula, Manning and Dungy, Brady and Belichick, and now Michelson and Matheny. If I had to compare myself to one or multiple offensive coordinators, you know, at, at different levels, I would probably really lean towards Bill Walsh. Not that I'd ever be nowhere near what he, his abilities is. I mean, he's probably the greatest offensive mind ever. Still, Coach Michelson is the greatest offensive mind in LFL history. As an offensive coordinator, it, I mean, it is literally like being an artist or, or, a, or a painter or a photographer. You get the perfect picture and, and it just turns out in your mind, it is exactly how you want it to turn out. The frustrations over the years have been that the brush just hasn't been quite fine enough and the colors haven't been bright enough. Despite Michelson's efforts, his teams have fallen short of their goal every year. I've had quite a few quarterbacks over the years, starting with Natasha Lindsay in 09, great field general. Quarterback keeper around the right side, and she will run in Natasha Lindsay just, you know, lacked the physical ability in the big arm. Um, Laurel Creel took over for her, another great field general. Creel, going to the end zone, caught! Just, you know, a little bit lacking on the arm strength. And then Angela came in and, you know, great physical abilities as regards to her stature, great arm, just the immaturity, probably wasn't quite ready for the position yet. Rippin fades back, she's got pressure. Now rolls out of the pocket, steps up, throws it, and cuts up short. And one! Oh, and now Rippin with a shot! So she kind of lacked that on the field presence and, and uh, leadership. Listen, we do not fucking walk in fucking uh, goddamn Seattle. Listen to me, sit the fuck down right now. Listen, you do not fucking walk up my dude, ever! After seasons of despair and heartache, Coach Michelson has never lost sight of his philosophy. I don't dictate whether I stay or go on whether I win or lose. Um, I don't think that's an effective coach. That's like going to the basketball court, not getting your way and then taking your ball and going home. It doesn't work that way. You know, you have to get through adversity, you have to fight through adversity, and you have to teach these young athletes um, and these female athletes that are trying to become football players the importance of, of, of losing and, and losing with humility, you know, and, and being able to rebound and bounce back. Cause that's, we can all win and it's easy to sit on the podium. Uh, and, and smile and wave for the crowd. The hard part though is, is to pick your ass up off the floor and get out there and, and go back to work and then win after a defeat. Okay, sometimes you lose, okay? But it's how you lose, how do you come back, okay? What are you gonna do about the fact that what you did tonight? You didn't execute, okay? It hurts to lose, no question. Everybody hates it, I hate it more than anything. But find something good from the loss and build from it. I could devise game plans to win games, I really could. But I'm not growing the sport. I'm not growing these female athletes. But making them and forcing them to do things outside the box and at a high level, even though we may fall short in doing that, I feel like I've won. Up to this point, a championship winning season was a mindset, but never tangible. Coach Michelson would need to find a new brush to complete his masterpiece. K.K. Matheny is one of the best natural leaders in the LFL. Look her in the huddle right there. She's taking charge tonight. She wants a championship more than anybody in the league. She wants to become that elite quarterback. Takes the give, now rolls out. She's got all day to throw, and she's looking long. Wide open, it is caught. 10, 5, touchdown. What a spitfire of a leader. Scrambles around, gets away from the rush. Now goes back up. Wide open, Brent Randa, touchdown. Running this offense to perfection. Matheny putting on a show. She has excelled in this league for now six seasons, chasing that elusive Legends Cup championship. Matheny has always had the teammates, but lacked that one true guiding light of an offensive coordinator during her time in Tampa and Jacksonville. Coach Joe Murphy was a tactical coach who lacked a certain fire. Coach Damon Jones lacked any direction or strategy at all. Matheny, much like all of us, has always yearned for what she never had. And she would find it 3,000 miles away. I wanted to do anything I could to finally meet this guy. So we met up. 
Uh, we actually ended up talking for about four or five hours whenever we were supposed to only meet up for like one or two. From then, I knew that we were going to have something special as far as a coach-player relationship. We really just got each other as far as offensively and knowing the game, and I could just tell his passion was just like mine. So that really, really gave me the fire to decide to make the big decision to move my life, quit my job back home, and move out to Seattle. He expected me to come in, fully grasp the offense within a week or two of practice, fully take control of the offense. Now, with the maestro behind the elements able to lead the uh, orchestra, you know, it's just so much nicer because you can sit back as a uh, offensive coordinator and just watch it go. I think KK is one of the best quarterbacks I've seen um, that I've played with personally. She has great technique. Uh, she just understands everything. She's very knowledgeable. Pin your corner instead of running your flood route. In fact, she's tested me and she's pushed me to another level to where I have to up my game because I wasn't prepared for a question. So she's constantly asking me questions. She's constantly wanting to know why. But I had no idea of her intellect. The fact that she had grasped my playbook and expanding off of my plays. I tell KK to do something, and literally she's three steps ahead of me. I really truly believe she could probably take us into a game, call her own plays the entire game, and we'd be effective. You know, as a quarterback, I take a lot of pride in the type of offense, you know, that Coach Michelson here in Seattle is allowing us to run. We're not just out there running toss right, toss left, dive, you know, left, dive right. We're actually taking a full NFL playbook and installing it into our short amount of time that we have and running it to perfection. That's really what an OC should be all about. You know, how do I make it better constantly? You know, if, if I can win a game this week, I'm only, I'm only good for this week. But if I can win the game next this week and set my next week game up and the week after and the week after, that's when you become really, really talented and really effective. Having KK back there now is really nice because I know I can open the playbook at any given time. Michaelson's offense has all the cogs working together tonight. You really got to like the way KK Matheny came into Seattle and really has her hands controlling this offense. That has been the storyline in the Pacific Northwest is the play of number 15. Now from the shotgun, first and goal, looking to Brent Rendai. You can measure height, but you can't measure heart. Now if mother can take it to him. Looking back to the flat, that is the leadership that they have not had from the quarterback position. She doesn't wait for chances, she takes them. She sees what I'm thinking. It's really weird. Literally, as I'm about to call the play, she she tells me what I'm about to say. And so I'm like, you, get out of my head, get out of my head. You said flip it, that's what I did. That's what I did, Z shovel, not X shovel. To the opposite, strong left instead of strong right. You know, we feed off each other back and forth. And, you know, it makes it fun. I think he's very misunderstood. If you can't throw it here, we're fucked. Okay. You see the fucking see score? score. Well, then keep it close. It's his passion. If you don't have that passion and that heart, you know, to get back up after a big hit, to, you know, to be able to stand in the pocket and know that you're about to take a hit, but you see an open receiver and you know that you're going to score as soon as you throw it, that takes something in you instead of backing away. And I've met, never been the type to back away from a fight. And I feel like with Coach Michelson, he does a really good job of bringing us all together and using each individual player for their strengths, of course, but at the same time, bringing us all together and making us shine as one. A game of complexity becomes simplified when two passions are in sync. Only time will tell if this duet is the final cadence in Seattle's symphony.